Hello, welcome back to Plain the Home and Garden. For today's video, we are going to show you 7 best trees to grow in about. But before that, don't forget to click subscribe for support this channel and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss any notification when we upload a new video. Well, let's check this out. Why growing trees in pots? Growing trees in pots may seem like a slap in the face to nature. After all, trees are supposed to grow big and dominate the landscape, right? Not so fast. Plenty of dwarf tree specimens are well suited to growing in pots. They don't take up a lot of space and they over renters, as well as homeowners. The change to have a tree in their landscape, albeit a portable one. Potted trees can warm up an entire or add ambience to a porch, patio, or deck. Well, let's check this out. Number 1. Dwarf Alberta Spruce With an attractive conical shape and compact size, Dwarf Alberta Spruce has developed quite a following. You will even see it over in late fall as a miniature Christmas tree. Dwarf Alberta Spruce grow only 2 to 3 inches a year, topping out at about 8 feet. Cultivars of this dwarf conifer are available with green or blue-green needles. It is hardy in U.S. Department of Agriculture Plant Hardiness Zones 2 to 8. Number 2. Weeping Fig This tropical native is beloved house plant. Weeping Fig or Ficus benjamina can grow up to 60 feet tall outdoors in tropical climates, yet they are well suited to container growing. Homeowners can easily grow 6 foot tall ficus by limiting the pot size and doing occasional pruning. Ficus like bright, in direct light, and actually perk up if they vacation outdoors in the protected height shade of a tall tree. Bear in mind they often drop leaves if their lightning situation changes but quickly recover. Number 3. Dwarf Blue Spurs it's tough and hardy like its parent, but Picea pungent has much more modest size, 3 to 5 feet tall compared to 50 feet or more for the larger. It's also slow growing, putting only a few inches a year, so it is suitable for containers as well as small entryway garden. While some globus are sold as rounded shrubs. There is a topiary version that looks particularly stunning in a pot. This variety has blue-gray foliage that looks nice, again a best of neon pink petunias. It is hardy in USDA zones to 2A. Number 4. Japanese Maple Breeders have made sure that anyone no matter how small their yard, can enjoy a tree like the Japanese maple. While some cultivars reach 25 feet over many years, others grow just 2 or 3 feet tall. These trees feature attractive mounted, face-like or cascading shapes. There are also a variety of foliage selection, including green, variegated and burgundy, in a choice of palm shade or highly distracted leaves. Most Japanese maple are hardy in USDA zones 6 to 8, but some accepted in zone 5. Where winter temperatures are concerned, shelter from cold wind helps. Also, potted trees can be taken inside in winter. Number 5. Miniature Apple Tree Imagine your own mini orchard, and you don't need a farm if you are growing potted apple trees. Many apple varieties are available in dwarf form, some even as columnar trees that take up very little space. You'll need two for cross-pollination or a crab apple tree nearby. And while you may start with a 5-column specimen, you will need to upsize the container every few years until you get to about 15 gallon size. Miniature apple trees are hardy in USDA zones 4 or 5 to 7 or 8, depending on cultivar. Number 6. 
grape myrtle. This certain staple can be grown in the north when it's spot growing and can be taken to shelter in winter. Normally hardy in USD is in 7 to 10. Grape myrtle grows 25 to 30 feet in the certain landscape. Smaller varieties are just 3 or 4 feet tall and can be raised in large container. That's great news because it means everyone can enjoy a bright summer flower show. Flowers include a choice of red, pink, white, lavender, and fuchsia blooms depending on cultivar. Number 7. Sweet Bay This broadleaf evergreen has a slender, conical form and highly aromatic foliage that, along with its low growth rate and growth tolerance, make it a fine potted tree. Sweet bay can also be clipped into a formal or topiary shapes, which is why you will often see matching specimen adoring either side of a formal doorway. It is hardy in USDA zone 8 to 11. That's all our video today about 7 trees to grow in a pot. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like, comment, and also share. And support this channel by clicking subscribe. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.